Hello everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Yellow, the gimmick style Nuzlocke challenge. Last time we were together, we started surfing south from Fuchsia City through routes 19 and 20 to make our way to Cinnabar Island. But before we get there, we had to make a stop at the Seafoam Islands, where we had to go through a dungeon in its own right. Thankfully, we made the whole trip a lot easier by bringing a bunch of repels with us. And we now have to use another repel, because we had used up the last repel getting through the Seafoam Islands. We will eventually be coming back to the Seafoam Islands because there are Pokémon to catch there. But right now we are going to jump back on Snips. We are going to challenge this trainer right here. Are you on vacation too? No, no, I'm on more of a journey. A Pokemon journey. Alright, Junior Trainer. Tentacool. Nice high level. But your water poison is no match for my plant poison. Or grass poison, rather. Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf is the way to go. It's a grass type, but it's got a lot of moves. I think it's got 25. What a high, what a high critical rate. Ah, Seal. Seal is an Ice type. And Ice types beat uh, Grass type Senseless. We're high enough level that I don't think it's going to be a problem. And even though Seal is kind of a... kind of a goofy looking guy, and his evolved form is probably even goofier looking, I do kind of like them. I remember when I was back in high school, at least I think it was high school, and Pokemon was still really big, they would sell the Pokemon toys uh, at like McDonald's or Burger King or something like that, and they would come in Pokeballs, and it would be a plush version of whatever Pokemon that was, but they also came with like a... like a gold... Like a gold plate of that Pokemon. And somewhere around here, I'm pretty sure I have my plush seal. I don't know whatever happened to the plate, though. I had a Charizard plate. Don't know what happened to that either. Now, I'm a big nerd now, but I was still a big nerd back in high school and college. So. You know, when it was lunchtime at high school, I'd walk my ass over to uh, the Burger King or McDonald's or whatever it was, and you would see me and like six other guys, and we'd all order kids' meals just because we wanted to get our hand on hands on those plush Pokemon. And I just missed whatever the junior trainer had to say. Seafoam used to be one island. Well, something happened that split it into two. Okay. Robosaur, why don't you let somebody else have some fun? The thing with King Yurtle, though, is he only has a bite. Well, he's got Surf, but Surf isn't all that good against water types. Well, let's give him at least a couple of fights. Check out my buff physique! Well, you only got one. To star you. So yeah, let's let King Yurtle give it a shot. So 
Swift is a pretty nice move. Swift, I think, is guaranteed to hit. It's fairly powerful, too, if I remember. Oh, jeez. Alright, King Yurtle, start biting that thing. should have been buffing up my Pokemon, not me. Hey man, whatever makes you happy. Now you are probably a fisher, so King Yurtle's probably okay. Oh, you rode your bird Pokemon here. Then in that case, you might be a bird keeper. You know what? I'm counting that as a good thing. Because we can use Surf on birds. Pikachu. Otherwise, all your birds would be fried. Right now, they're just all washed out. And Yurtle is 42. Which is good, because we're going to want him to be a few levels higher. Skull Bash. Hmm. Skull Bash is a pretty powerful move, but it's one of those moves where you have to charge it up for a turn. And honestly, most of those charge up moves I don't like. I'd rather be able to hit those two times. So, I think we're going to skip Skull Bash. Yeah. Oh no. My birds can't fly me back. Well, sure they can. Unconscious Pokemon can still use their TM, their uh, HM moves. Alright, are there any more trainers? There's one. There's another. Alright, let's start with you. My boyfriend gave me big pearls. Alright, beauty. I'm pretty sure you can handle the shelter. Unless he confuses you. At least you didn't hurt yourself. Alright, we lucked out there. Alright, King Yurtle only has one bite left. What are you fighting next? Cloyster. Well, bite him and let's see what happens. Oof. Nothing. Well. It may not have been very effective, but it did the job. Don't touch my pearls. Will my pearls grow bigger? Inside Cloyster. I I don't know. I don't know if Cloisters work like that. I wouldn't bet on it though. 
I swam here from Cinnabar Island. Well, that's not nearly as far as where I surfed from. Alright, uh, Goldine, Goldine. So what do you think, Sea King? Yep. I'm so disappointed. Oh, there's another trainer. Let's take them on. Cinnabar is in the west. Has a lab for Pokemon. And we will be checking out that lab. But not just yet. Send out your Poliwag. There you go, Sonny. You're gonna need those levels. Wait! Cinnabar is a volcanic island. I think we're... There we go. There's Cinnabar. And I don't think there are any more trainers to take on. And you know what? And you know what? Since we're here, let's do let's do some stuff around Cinnabar Island. Do you have any friends? Pokemon you get in trades grow very quickly. I think it's worth a try. Well, unfortunately, I can't trade. <laughs> can't trade with this version of the game the way I'm playing it. Pokemon can still learn techniques after canceling evolution. Evolution can wait until new moves have been learned. And that's, that used to be what I would do. I think I mentioned that in earlier videos. That I would come up with, like, complicated spreadsheets to try to maximize Pokemon learning potential. Like, uh, if a Pokemon... Like, say, uh, Charmander would learn moves much more quickly than Charizard. I would see what level would be best for Charmander to evolve to Charmeleon, then Charizard, that I could learn all its possible moves. Or if Pokémon learned different moves in different evolutionary forms, I would figure out, like, well, I like this move, so I'll evolve Poliwag at this level, so when he's a Poliwhirl, he can learn that move, and then so forth and so on. I was... You know, I went through all that nonsense, but I still never uh, EV leveled anybody. You can cancel evolution. When a Pokemon is evolving, you can stop it and leave it the way it is. Yeah, we've done that a few times. Alrighty. Now we want to grab our fossils. There's one. And there's the other. Excuse me. Repels effects wore off. Well, that's all right. Now, is this the research laboratory? We study Pokémon extensively here. People often bring us rare Pokémon for examination. Pokémon lab meeting room. Hello there. 
Do you want to trade your Golduck for Rhydon? No, thank you, but no. Well, if you don't want to. I found this very strange fossil in Mount Moon. I think it's a rare, prehistoric Pokemon. Well, it just might be. Hi, do you have Growlithe? Want to trade it for Dugong? No, thank you. That's too bad. Pokemon Lab, R&D Room. Eevee can evolve into one of three kinds of Pokemon. Well, right now it can evolve into one of three kinds. Tss, tss, tss. I made a cool TM. It can cause all kinds of fun. Max received TM35. Tss, tss, tss. That's the sound of metronome. It tweaks your Pokemon's brain into using moves it doesn't know. Metronome is... Well, I think it's a pretty interesting move, but it's not really dependable. When you use Metronome, your Pokemon will randomly perform one of any of the possible moves in the game. So who knows what you're going to get. I'm looking for Kangaskhan. Want to trade one for Muck? Nope. Uh, oh well. How about you, good sir? Hiya! I am an important doctor. I study here rare Pokemon fossils. You have a fossil for me? Okay, you know what? Let's start with the Dome Fossil. Oh, that is Dome Fossil. This is a fossil of Kabuto. A Pokemon that is already extinct. My resurrection machine will make that Pokemon live again. Let's do it. So, you hurry and give me that. Max handed over Dome Fossil. I take a little time. You go for a walk for a little while. So yeah, we're gonna go wander around for a little bit. We're gonna stop over at the Pokemon store. I think we're gonna grab some more repels. Might even go, go surfing for a little bit. It never hurts to have extra items. You know what? More often than not, it doesn't hurt. Okay, let's... That's Max Repel. Now, even though Max Repel is more expensive than Super Repel, I prefer using Super Repel. Max Repel only gives you a, I think like 50 extra steps for being something like 200%, uh, not 200%, 200 Poké Dollars more expensive. Yeah, let's sell that Nugget before I forget about it. Let's see what this lady has to say. Don't they have X attack? It's good for battles. It's not bad. Scientists conduct experiments in the burnt out building. Cinnabar Jim Blaine is an odd man who has lived here for decades. Cinnabar Island, the fiery town of Burning Desire. Cinnabar Island, Pokemon Gym. Leader Blaine. The hot-headed Quizmaster. Alright, well, believe it or not, that's all to do in the town. Except check out this burnt-out building. But we're not going to be exploring this place just yet. Instead, we're going to go surfing again. Okay, use a super repel. And let's let's switch things around a little bit. Put King Riddle back up front. He's got a few levels to gain. And King Yurtle will be useful for what's coming up. And that is Blaine's gym. Because Blaine is a fire trainer. Ah, I feel the sun in the wind. Swimmer wants to fight. 
the swimmer send out Polyworld. There you go, King Yurtle. Eat the frog. You know, it's not a bad idea to be using hypnosis on me, but I have the polka flute. So of course you use hypnosis again. I mean, why wouldn't you? Oh, it's gonna be one of those fights. I can tell it already. Alright, good. Let's see if we can put him down real quick. Uh, I don't think jellyfish makes for good eating, but if you can do it. Screen kind of works like flash and um, sand attack. It lowers your accuracy. It's actually not bad to use in a pinch. You saw that we got a lot of use out of stuff like that, fighting say Alakazam and uh, Venom Moth back when back when we were fighting Blaine, not Blaine, Koga. Lost. Yep, we're putting Brobosaur back up front. Kind of trying to level them up evenly. Right now, I'm in a triathlon meet. Oh, you know something else we really need to start thinking about? We need to start thinking about who we're going to take to, uh, to Victory Road and to fight the Elite Four. Because I need to be putting more uh, time and effort into training them. Pokemon at sea. That means all your Pokemon will be water types, which is great for Brobosaur. And you only have one. That's a Starmie. And if Starmie knows any psychic moves, that could be a problem for Brobosaur. or side beam or something. This, I could have started this fight with Razor Leaf and called it a day. Diver down! Where'd you catch your Pokemon? All over the place. 
Alright, you guys look like fishermen. Let's let Sunny have some fun. Keep me company till I get a hit. Now, which one of you has a team of, say, eight Magikarp? Sea King. Oh, yeah! That burns some time. Yeah, maybe a minute or two. Oh wait, I got a bite, yeah! Hey, don't scare away the fish. All right, Sonny, you know what to do. Sorry, I didn't mean it. I was just angry that I couldn't catch anything. Oh lord, do I know that feeling. I actually love the fish. Not out on the ocean, though. That, that, I, that I don't like at all. But I love to be on lakes and rivers. Even ponds and stuff doing some fishing. For the life of me, I can't catch anything, though. Did we oh, there's a mesh trainer. There's two trainers. What's wrong with me swimming? Who said there's anything wrong with you swimming? Cubal wants a fight. Alright, you send out your tentacle. I'll send out Sunny. Blow you away with a thunderbolt. Yep, we're gonna make uh, Brobosaur do the heavy lifting again. Increases your special. Now, what do we have? We got attack. Well, I want to hang on to Razor Leaf, Leech Seed, and Toxic. But you know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's drop tackle in favor for growth. Really, you guys don't think I should even bother learning it? Well, you got a good point, you know, then I'd only have the one attack, and that one attack would be Razor Leaf. But at the same point, I don't really want to hang on the tackle, I'm going to probably replace that with another move. And even then, I'll probably re replace Growth with something then. So, yeah, we're going to abandon Marine Growth.
Alright. Defeated Cubo. Cheap shot. I look like what? A studded inner tube? Get lost. Well, that's kind of funny to, when you think about it. Alright. The sea cleanses my body and soul. And you send out Seedra. I send out Bert. She's gonna take to the skies. Fisherman. And let's leave the bird where he is. They got a big hole. Wanna go for it? So you're the guy with a whole bunch of magic harps. Okay, I knew it was coming sooner or later. like a big pelican, take them one at a time. Team Magikarp is defeated. Darn Magikarp. I seem to only catch Magikarp. Well, you need a better rod. You want to know if the fish are biting? Seeking more seeking, more problems. Of course they suck, it's just, they're like 20 levels behind.
Uh, good bird. Agility. I do like agility. any of these moves, though. Let's see, that's a flying one, that's a flying one, that's a normal one. And quick attack is useful in that it has a priority. Um, you know what, yeah, let's drop wing attack for agility. Try that again. anything good. Alrighty, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna fly really quick back to Cinnabar, because I'm hoping our Pokemon is ready. It's like baking a cake. Where were you? Your fossil's back to life. It was Kabuto, like I think. Max got Kabuto. You want to give it a nickname? Alright, Kabuto will be eventually become Kabutops. Which is this kind of like... Scyther looking thing. You know, walks upright. Got these horrible looking claws. It's all armory and scythe -y. yeah. What should we call him? Yeah, at first it kind of looks like a trilobite. It looks like this horrible man-shaped walking claw. Alright, I got it. We got Logan. We got Brutops. There's no more room for Pokemon. Logan was sent to Pokemon Box 4. Hiya. Yes, you are an important doctor. We do have a fossil for you. We're giving you the old amber. Oh, that is old amber. It is the fossil of Aerodactyl. A Pokemon that is already extinct. And your resurrection machine will make him live. So you hurry and give him that. And repels effects, Warwolf. Alrighty. Well, we're getting pretty long in this episode, so I'm going to restore our Pokemon real quick, and then I think we'll finish our surfing adventure, and we'll see if Aerodactyl is ready. Alright, well, while we're finishing our surfing uh, adventure, I want you guys to think, what would be a good name for our Aerodactyl? I'm already trying to come up with some in my head, but I'm not doing so good. Okay, let's... Get King Yurtle back out there. I'm gonna look for that group of fishermen we had just taken on. They were around here somewhere. There they are. Oh, well, what do you know? We've made it all the way to the other shore. Now, this other shore has some grass we can check out. And you know what? 
We're in Route 21. We haven't caught anybody here yet. So what do you say we uh, wander around for a little bit, see if we can find anybody new to catch. Alright, so I crack some skulls around here, and it ends up there's nobody, nobody new for us to catch here. So we're just going to finish surfing, and if we go all the way north, we're back in Pallet Town. We've gone in a big circle around all of Kanto. And you know what, since we're here, let's take a quick visit home. Hey, Ma. Max, if you drive your Pokémon too hard, they'll dislike you. You should take a rest. Oh, good. You and your Pokémon are looking great. Take care now. And you know what, let's go see the Professor real quick while we're here. Good to see you. How is your Pokedex coming? Here, let me take a look. Pokedex completion is... 121 seen, 69 owned. Professor Oak's rating. Oh, this is getting even better. Well, I think that should do it. And I'm just about at the point where I want to call this an episode. So I think what we're going to do is fly Bert back to Cinnabar, and we're going to see if our Aerodactyl is ready. Where were you? Your fossil is back to life. It was Aerodactyl, like I think. Do you want to give Aerodactyl a nickname? Yes, we do. And we talked about this off-screen a little bit, and we are going to call Aerodactyl... Terex, like an Archaeopteryx. There's no more room, so he's going to have to go to Pokebox number 4. And you know what? That's going to do it for today's episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. I hope you've been enjoying yourself, and the next time we get together, why don't we go and see what else is going on on Cinnabar Island. See you then.